Welcome back to the Living in Naples channel. I'm James Headley. The National Association of Realtors recently released a consumer guide for prospective home buyers entitled 10 Questions to Ask a Buyer's Agent. In light of the recent changes I've discussed elsewhere here on the channel resulting from the NAR settlement in the Sites of Burnett case, I thought it might be helpful to review these suggestions from NAR through multiple lenses. Uh, why they may, may or may not be useful to you in your home search, uh, how they apply specifically to the market here in Southwest Florida, and finally, how I would answer each of them uh, myself. Uh, given the multi-part answers, I'm gonna break this episode up into two separate parts, addressing five of these suggested NAR, NAR questions in each part. Uh, before jumping into those first five, let me take a moment to thank you for uh, tuning into these videos, for subscribing, uh, please do so if you haven't already, uh, and for liking and sharing those videos that you find of interest uh, or use. Uh, sincerest thanks on all those counts. And now let's dig into those NAR suggested questions. Uh, number one, are you a realtor? I know, shocking, right? Uh, we didn't see the trade association representing realtors leading off with this uh, suggested question. Uh, seriously though, this goes beyond self-serving interests in that realtors commit to doing business under a code of ethics that non-realtors are not committed to abiding by. So simply put, your interest as a client should be first and foremost always when working with a realtor. Now having said that, you would probably be hard pressed to find an agent here in Southwest Florida that isn't a realtor for lots of reasons, not the least of which is access to the local MLS. So simply put, you are highly unlikely to suss out any differentiating information by asking this question. Uh, and yes, I am a realtor to take on my part in, in answering that question. Number two, what types of services can you provide? I'm just gonna share NAR's exact words in their guide uh, outlining what you might expect from a realtor. Finding you homes that meet your criteria, accompanying you to showings, sharing their analysis of the market and available properties, negotiating on your behalf, and more. Not unlike the first question, if you aren't expecting and getting everything in that sentence from a buyer's agent, you almost certainly do not want to work with that agent. Where the rubber meets the road here is in both that uh, and more at the end of the NAR list, as well as in the how or how well that agent performs those delineated functions on your behalf. Does the agent take time to understand what your criteria really are and send you homes that actually meet those criteria? Or is the approach more scattershot, such as sending you everything new in a particular community? What about them and or their background leads you to believe they will do the best job negotiating on your behalf? And what's the more they can offer that will benefit you? Uh, as for my answer to this question, uh, you will absolutely get all of those things in the NAR list, of course, uh, at the level you might expect from someone with my uh, personal and professional background. And the more uh, will be tailored to your particular circumstances and needs and will extend long beyond your closing date. Number three, how well do you know the markets where I am searching for a home? Seems pretty obvious and clear, right? Uh, well, technically, anyone licensed in the state of Florida could serve as your buyer's agent in Southwest Florida, whether their brokerage is based in Naples, Marco, or Jacksonville, for example. It should not take long to identify whether a prospective buyer's agent for you understands the Southwest Florida real estate market. As for my answer, just have a look at the library of videos on this channel as a starting point, and let's talk about uh, whether my, me and my team are right uh, for you. Number four. Do you have experience working with buyers in my situation? You know, aside from a bit more self-serving interest by NAR as they talk about their various post-licensing accreditations that they aim to sell to realtors, the real core of this question is making sure the agent is a good fit with your context for buying a home in Southwest Florida. You know, general examples could include first-time home buyers or veterans who might be using FHA or VA loans, but specific to the Southwest, Southwest Florida market, I would go beyond this to say you should be comfortable in the knowledge that your agent understands the types of properties and lifestyle you are looking for, whether that be golf communities, a part-time residence with the potential for some rental income, uh, and on and on. As to my answer, I certainly have the experience of having worked across a range of buyer types and can discuss that with you, but I think the proof will be in the pudding of us connecting to discuss your particular context to assess the fit in both directions. 
And as an aside, do not be surprised if after that initial consultation, I suggest that you might be better served by another agent I can recommend if I don't think my experience and expertise will best serve you. And number five, can you tell me about your approach to scouting properties? I, I made a passing reference to some of this, uh, some of what this might entail earlier, but in general, you want to feel comfortable that your buyer's agent has both the time and the technical expertise to walk that line between making sure you don't miss seeing a home that could be a great fit and inundating you with loads of properties and information that are not anywhere close to being good fits or useful to you. Again, context is everything as my approach is to work with each client in a way that is uniquely tailored to their particular circumstances. But one very specific aspect of my answer to this question is that unless they wish otherwise, my clients get curated listings from me uh, that I have specifically scouted for them along with comments on the pluses and minuses of these scouted homes based upon their criteria. Uh, that brings us to the end of our part one uh, discussion of these NA, this NAR guide and their questions. I do appreciate you tuning in today. I uh, hope this uh, is a useful start to the discussion and you'll join me in the next episode as well. Um, as always, if you have any questions or would like to discuss your particular home buying context or selling, uh, please do reach out anytime. And until then, please keep subscribing, liking, and sharing, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.